Hi there, I'm going to go over using Canvas LMS to create grading rubrics. And so to begin, I'm going to start with a class and go to Assignments. You first have to have an assignment before you can attach a rubric. Now one tip is to create groups for your assignments and to name them exactly what they're named in SIS. That will then allow you to create these in specific categories and when you import them to SIS they'll automatically be in that category. So say I'm going to do a new classwork. I'm going to call it Table 1. It's going to be due tomorrow and it's going to be worth 20 points. Now this isn't everything I need to make this assignment so I'm going to click More Options. You would put your instructions here and if you have an image that needs to go here, you could insert the image. Um, in, images are from over here. Just upload it and it'll put it right in there. Or if you already have an image, you can drag it in. Um, but anyway, so you put your instructions there. If I was having them recreate something, I could drag it in that they could see. And then you scroll down. Uh, one thing that you do have to make sure, if you are going to have them upload something, you do have to change the submission type from no submission to something. Um, otherwise, they can't really submit anything. Um, so submission type typically I'm going to say online. If you're going to have them like turn in a piece of paper and then you're just going to use this for the rubric you'd put on paper. I'm going to choose online and generally speaking I have my students upload a file and I generally speaking have them also to make sure their files are PDF files but you can restrict the upload and that's sometimes a really good idea so as a teacher you don't have a bunch of different file formats floating through there. You can also just create a box that they type into or they can um, upload a website or a video or audio recording. And then of course you're going to want to include it when you post grades so you'll check mark that. And you can extend the deadline, um, well not the due date but you can have it open longer than the due date here. So once you've got that all good and ready you hit save and then at that point in time you're going to have a plus sign here where you can create that rubric. So you click the plus sign. If you have a rubric already created, say I'm an LA teacher and I use the same rubric for every essay assignment, you can click on find and find your page and then the rubrics that go along with it will be there and you can just click it. I don't have a rubric for this one so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name and then I can start typing in my criteria. So um, recreated with correct data, let's say um, that that's my first one, I would hit OK and then you choose what your full marks are. And you can rename these too so I can say um, you know totally correct as my thing or um, not attempted as my low thing. If it's worth 10 points then you change this to 10. When you click off of it it will automatically update the points. Um, if you want to add another grading category just hit a plus sign here and you can adjust it. So if it's totally correct, you know pretty okay, let's say you don't want to give it five points because that's like half okay then you could go ahead and give this like an eight. You know if you know there's certain point values that you're probably going to use a lot you're going to want to put those in there. Um, and I could keep going here if I wanted to. Then you just click the plus sign to add additional criteria. Um, correct styling and then if there were certain things that you were looking for you know include those in there as well and then again put your points and in your values there and they don't have to be the same on each one or you can make them the same whichever you wish and then finally I'll add my last one let's say proper spelling and that that's five points um, and again you can add as many categories as you want now I do want to go over these three boxes down here the the first two are really important if you check the top one you no longer have all of these boxes in the middle and so what happens then is you just click here in the middle and instead of picking a number you can type feedback and then you can go ahead and give it a point value. Um, you can also tell it to use the rubric for assignment grading. Now if I do that then automatically what they'll do is take this number that adds up theirs and it'll pop it up there as their score. If you don't check this box it will not pop that up there as their score. When you save it will actually total it for you but it won't use it as the score. So let's say I was using this just as an assessment to give them some feedback. I might just make everything worth one point or I haven't tried it with zero points but perhaps you have five criteria you could put one point for each but you're not going to actually use the rubric to ass assess the grade. You're just going to give people 10 points or whatever. Um, so don't check that unless you want this number to automatically carry up. 
And I didn't realize that at first, and so I wanted the number to carry up, and I was having to manually type it in. So um, I'm going to uncheck this so that I have this rubric again, and then I want to use this for grading so it will automatically calculate and take it up. And I'm going to click Create Rubric, and now it's ready to go, so I would publish it, and then students would be able to see it. So whenever you go in to grade these, you would come back to your assignment to this screen, and you would choose Speed Grader. I love SpeedGrader and it works really great with PDF files. So if I had a student with a PDF file uploaded, it would have a picture of their file over here opened in this screen. And then I would click on View Rubric. And while I look at their assignment here, I can then score it on the rubric. So I can say, um, that's mostly okay. Let's say they had one thing wrong and then I would type it in here. The thing is wrong, la 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 la, so whatever would be there. And then let's say this was good and this was good. So when you have all these categories, you can click on them and they automatically put the numbers in the box. You can also just manually type in. So I could put a four in the box and say, you know, wrong shade of red or whatever and pop that in there. So as soon as I click on save, it moves it up and that becomes their grade. And that's why I was talking about how it uses the grade. So that's... um pretty much the story. Um, if you put a comment, notice the student can see the comment over here, or if they got full marks, it says so. Um, but that's essentially the way it works when you create rubrics in Canvas.